question three. So let's use our log laws here so we can square that, can't we? Or minus x squared. And now if we just equate the logs, now we can just say that that's equal to that. There we go. So 4 minus x squared equals x plus 8. And hopefully we end up getting this thing here. Let's have a quick double check. So that's going to give me 16. And if I take away 8x plus x squared equals x plus 8. Take away x from both sides. That gives me this. Take away 8 from both sides. And just reorder it. And, and there we go. Okay, so we got the first bit done. Right, then it says write down the roots of the equation. Well, this one does actually uh, yeah, squeeze it in over here for you. Right, so it is just. Uh, we should be able to factorise this. Oh, yeah, sorry, didn't see that for a second. What are we going to have there? So, got two negatives, haven't we? All right, so it's got to be minus 8 and minus 1. So, therefore, if we solve that, x could equal 8 and it could equal 1. Right, okay. And then part 2 says state which of the roots here, this 8 and 1, um, is not the solution. Okay, so let's just have a little think about which one won't work. All right, so hopefully you've spotted it. All right, which one's not going to work? Well, the 8's not going to work, is it? Okay, because if we think about what happens just here, all right, so log 4 minus 8, I'm trying to do log of minus 4, all right, which we cannot do. 